Well, before I say anything, congrats on your dietary change and the benefits that you've seen, but let's dive into it. Number one, lower caloric density. Meat, especially red meat, are super high or higher than normal when it comes down to the spectrum of calories within food. By cutting that out of your diet, you have a great reduction of calories that's going within the system. Fish and plant-based meals offer a lot less calories, so your body doesn't have as much work to burn them off. And guess what? That's essential for weight loss. Number two, reduce fat intake. Like I said before, just like those other meats are higher in caloric densities, um, it's really high in saturated fats as well. This attributes to a lot of weight gain, so cutting that out of your diet, you're going to start losing a lot of weight. Number three, fiber-rich plant foods, which I talk about a lot the past few days. These are This is what you call dietary fibers. So a lot of these things make you feel fuller a lot longer. And that's why I've been telling people all week, make sure that you prioritize the proper types of protein within your body as well as carbs. And, and we could dive into it a little bit later. But the reason why I say prioritize these things is because you feel fuller and not only, well, satiety plays a part, but not only are you fuller for a longer period of time, you don't find yourself having to get a snack and get something sweet at the end of the day or throughout the day. Now, we could talk about improved insulin sensitivity and all that type of stuff, but that's pretty much the gist of what's going on. Now, while it's great that you're losing weight, remember, nutrition comes first. Track your macros, your proteins, your carbs, your fats. Make sure you're getting all the minerals and vitamins that you need within your diet and supplementation. Keep it organic. Keep it whole food. But other than that, congratulations once more time. God bless.